Hello again, it's Sam with Blind Shell. Today we're going to take a look at the email application on the Blind Shell Classic phone. So your Blind Shell Classic phone does support email, and that's pretty cool. In order to get to it, oh, Call, one of went nine. to sleep on us. Call, one of nine. In order to get to it, we're going to scroll over to the more applications. Messages, two of contacts, more applications, four of nine. Click OK. Tools, one of five. And email is in this main menu here, so if I click to the right, email two of five. There it is. So adding a new email account is very simple. You just click OK on the email. New account. Email address one of six. And you're already prompted to start entering in the information. So you put in your email address. Email address one of six. Sender name two of six. Sender name, this is what your name is. SMTP server three of six. This will probably autofill. You won't need to worry about this. IMAP server four of six. This will also autofill and probably don't need to worry about this information as well. Especially if you're putting in like a Gmail account, this will all autofill. Password five of six. Put in your password. Login six of six. And then you simply log in. Now, speaking of Gmail, you may need to go into your privacy settings, into your Gmail privacy settings on a computer and enable other devices using your Gmail account. When I first signed in, I got an error saying unauthentication error, and that was the problem. I had to go on a computer into my privacy settings and allow Gmail to be used on other devices. Once I did that, it worked no problem and I actually have mine working on this device. So once you have an email account set up on the device, these are the options that you will receive. First one is new email. Inbox two of 21. You can go into your inbox and check emails you've received. Sent mail three of 21. You can look at sent mail. Marked by star four of 21. You can look at emails marked with a star. All mail five of 21. Look at all your mail. Trash, 6 of 21. Trash. Drafts, 7 of 21. Drafts. Spam, 8 of 21. Spam. Important, 9 of 21. You look at important emails. Amazon, 10 of 21. And then you get into your folders. So I have an Amazon folder for mine. Deleted items, 11, Facebook, 12, junk. And the very last option is settings. So you can go in here and customize some settings. Edit account, one of two. We'll take a look at that. The first one is edit account. Background checking for new emails, two of two. And background checking. Settings, 21 of 20. New email, one of 21. Inbox, loading. Unread. Allegiant, a new year means another vacation for less. 10.06 a.m., 1 of 51. Okay, so we'll check this out. Uh, apparently, my last email I received was from Allegiant Airlines and just a spam email, really. But if I want to interact with this, I just click OK. If I wanted to check the next email in the list, I would click to the right. But like I said, let's go in here and take a look at this one. Loading. Happy New Year from everyone at Allegiant, 1 of 55. So that's the first line in the email. And if I just keep continue clicking to the right, I will just systematically work my way down this email. Two of 55. Three of 55. So these are just blank lines. Send to a friend, four of 55. And here we go. Orlando, Sanford, five of 55. One way as low as six of 55. So it's just reading out the email. If I want to interact with this email, I click OK. Reply, <coughs> one of six. I can reply. Reply all, two of six. Reply all. Forward, three of six. Forward. Attachments, four of six. Add an attachment. Add sender to contacts, five of six. Add sender to contacts. Delete, six of six. Or delete. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this email. Do you really want to perform this action? Yes. Message successfully deleted. Loading. Unread. Vanguard Brokerage Services. Vanguard Funds Important Information, 8.59 a.m., 1 of 51. And then it automatically jumps to my next email and I can go through and interact with that as well. Inbox 2 of 21. So let's go back, say we want to create a new email. New email, 1 of 21. Recipients, 1 of 5. So we have five options in this menu and they all correspond with different items on the email. So the first one is recipients. 
If I clicked OK, I could add in a recipient into that field. Subject two of five. The next one is subject. I can just enter in the subject information. Text three of five. Then text is the body of the email. I could compose my email in that section. Attachments four of five. I could add an attachment if I wanted to. Send five of five. And finally, I can click that to send the email. So it's very easy to work your way through creating an email to send out. So that is the basics of the email app. If you'd like to learn more about what your Blindshell Classic phone can do, be sure to head over to our YouTube channel to check out more of our tutorial videos.